Hey, hey, hey! So you've got your eyes set on the LASIK eye surgery? Feels like the night before the first day at school, doesn't it? Those butterflies in the stomach, wondering what's going to happen, what it's going to feel like. But chill out, my friend. We've got your back. We're going on a LASIK adventure together. We'll dive headfirst into what this LASIK fella is all about. Play detective in your initial consultation, sneak a peek at the super secret diagnostic tests, and arm you with all the right questions to fire at your surgeon. Oh, and because we believe in the full story, we'll venture into some of the potential complications as well. But don't worry, in another video, we'll prepare you for the big day. So grab a comfy seat, maybe some popcorn, and buckle up. We're about to embark on the LASIK Express. All aboard! So LASIK sounds like a superhero name, doesn't it? Well, it kind of is. It's short for laser-assisted in-situ keratomyliosis. Yeah, that's a mouthful. It's the surgery that's going to swoop in to save the day and your vision. In layman's terms, LASIK is like a tailor for your eyes. It alters the cornea, the clear round dome part of the eye, so light focuses like a superstar onto your retina, and voila, you're seeing in high definition. So, how does all this wizardry work? Well, you've got to understand the magic behind the eye first. So picture this. Your eye is like a camera focusing light onto the film, which is your retina in this case. But what happens when the camera isn't focusing just right? You guessed it, blurry, out-of-focus pictures, and in our case, vision. That's where your glasses come in, acting like a personal camera assistant, tweaking the focus for a perfect shot. If you're dealing with myopia or hyperopia, those are fancy terms for near and farsightedness. And don't worry, we'll tackle those monsters in a separate video. So stay tuned. Back to our superhero, LASIK. How does it work? Imagine a teeny tiny circular flap is made on the surface of your cornea using either a femtolaser or a blade. This is gently lifting, revealing the tissue underneath. Then, with the precision of a master craftsman, a laser reshapes this tissue to correct how your eye focuses light. And the flap? It's gently put back in place where it starts healing without any stitches. It's like a home makeover, but for your eyes. All right, folks, this is the first step on our LASIK adventure. It's a cozy little place called the initial consultation. Picture this. You're in a room with your surgeon who's like a detective investigating your past medical and eye tales. They might ask about your past health adventures like diabetes or autoimmune disorders or the magic potions. I mean, medications you're taking. Why, you ask? Well, these could play a part in your LASIK journey. Also, this is your moment to share your dreams. Why do you want LASIK? Is it to ace your job, crave the convenience, or just want to kick those glasses or contacts to the curb? Here comes the tricky part. We're going to check out how dry your eyes are, kind of like checking if your plant needs watering. We start with four basic questions. Did you ever feel like in the last month you had irritation like sand in your eyes? Do you ever feel tired when you're glued to your computer or phone? Do they throw a tantrum in AAC environments or when it's windy? Do you ever experience magical visual fluctuations like your eyesight goes blurry and then gets better after a few blinks? Your answers help us decide if we need more testing or if you should hit the pause button on your LASIK journey. Sometimes, we might have to roll out the big guns, like a more detailed questionnaire or a fancy sounding dry eye analyzer test. Oh, and don't be surprised if we turn your world into a blurry wonderland for a while. That's just us dilating your eyes in the initial consult. Why, you ask? It's like opening a door to the back of your eye so we can spot any potential party crashers. All right, folks, it's time for us to step into the LASIK lab. Put on your imaginary lab coats because we're about to talk about this sciencey stuff. Here, we have a couple of tests, or I like to call them eye challenges, that you've got to ace before you're LASIK ready. First up, we have the corneal topography exam. Sounds like something straight out of a spy movie, right? Well, it's a fancy term for a really chill test. It's as breezy as a selfie session. You just sit back and we'll flash some lights into your eyes and click pictures of your cornea. It's like a VIP photo shoot for your eyes. Now, why do we do this? It's our way of checking out if your cornea is suitable for the LASIK procedure. Kind of like trying to see if the shoe fits. 
There are times when even after the topography, we're left scratching our heads. That's when we roll out the big guns, the Corvus Biomechanical Assessment. Yeah, it sounds intimidating, but don't worry, it's like a breezy tropical island getaway. We gently puff some air into your eyes to check the strength of your cornea. Imagine your cornea on a bench press, showing off its muscles, but hey, not everyone needs this test. We reserve this only for those who we think could use a little extra eye muscle checkup. So you've just had your LASIK surgery? High five. But wait, why is everything so blurry? And what's this? Your eyes feel like they just ate a hot chili pepper? Chill out, my friend. It's totally normal. It's just your eyes saying, hey, we've had a workout. It usually chills out within a few hours. Your vision will start getting better, kind of like your eyes adjusting to a cool new pair of specs. You might be a bit sensitive to light, like a vampire in daylight, but hey, this is just temporary. Now, there are a few key things you gotta remember post LASIK, so let's count them down. You're going to need a chauffeur to drive you home post procedure. Yeah, your vision will be in chill mode and driving will not be on the cards. Plus, who doesn't like being chauffeured around, right? It would be nice if you have a buddy around just to take care of you just after the procedure. It's like your personal sidekick for a while. We'll ask you to play Sleeping Beauty for a few hours post-surgery. Keeping your eyes shut helps the healing process. And remember, no water fights or touching your eyes. It's crucial to prevent any water from splashing into your eyes or any rubbing of the eye. And here's the golden advice we give everyone. 90% of your vision should be back on track by the next day. You might still have some mild blurriness, kind of like looking through a lightly fogged up window, but don't sweat it. This should clear up within the next week. And voila, you're on your way to life less dependent on glasses or contacts. All right, my friends, it's time for some real talk. Every superhero has their kryptonite, and even LASIK has some potential nemesis. They're known as complications. But don't freak out, they're not as scary as they sound. Let's chat about the most common ones. First up, we have dry eyes. Sounds like a western film, right? After LASIK, your eyes might feel a little dry. Don't worry, this is temporary, and your eye doc has got plenty of tricks up their sleeves to help, like artificial tears, or maybe even special plugs to keep your eyes moist. Remember your eye doc screening you before the surgery? This is why. Then we have fellas known as Glare, Halos, and Starburst. Sounds like a bad rock band, huh? But it's actually where you might see a bit of glare around lights or see halos or lines going through lights. Usually, they happen at night in street lights or car headlights. It's like your eyes have had a bit too much party punch. This usually gets better over time, and if not, there are options to help. Usually, they do remain long term, but not to the extent that you need to worry. So next on our list, we have undercorrection or overcorrection. This is like the Goldilocks and the Three Bears, where your eyesight isn't just right. You see, sometimes we might not hit the bullseye and your vision could still be a bit blurry. Or sometimes we might overshoot a little. But no worries, your eye doc will be on the case. A touch-up or enhancement may do the trick. Not a common phenomenon, but it can happen. Let's tackle our next big wolf in the LASIK world. Regression. Now I'm not talking about time travel or anything as exciting as that. It's a fancy term for when your prescription starts to change again post LASIK. Think of it this way. As you age, your body grows and changes, right? Your nose doesn't stay the same cute button it was when you were a baby. The same thing goes for your eyeballs. They grow too and change. So let's say you've got your LASIK. You're loving your new supervision, and suddenly you notice that your eyesight isn't as sharp as it was. It's not that LASIK has gone on a holiday or something. It's just your eyes have changed a bit. The number of your prescription could start changing again, and this is due to the natural growth of your eye, not because LASIK has failed. And that's why we're picky about when we do the surgery. We wait until your number has been stable for some time like waiting for a good time to take the perfect photo. But hey, if you do experience regression, don't panic. The eye doc has got your back. There are always options to help out. Now, complications might sound like a bit bad wolf, but remember, they're pretty rare. There are others as well, but these are the common ones. 
LASIK is one of the most common eye surgeries and most people are thrilled with the results. However, it's always good to be in the know. If you encounter any of these or other funky changes in your vision post LASIK, remember to give your eye doc a shout. If you have any specific complications you want to know about, give us a shout. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the eye-opening LASIK busting FAQ section. Let's tickle your brain with some enlightening answers to your most burning questions. Question one, how long does the procedure take? Well, folks, it's quicker than watching an episode of your favorite sitcom. Seriously, you'll be in and out in 15 to 20 minutes. Blink and you'll miss it. But remember, don't actually blink during the surgery. Question two, what is the post-operative period like? Imagine you're on a non-stop flight to clearer vision. There might be a little turbulence at first, you might experience some dryness, burning, mild discomfort, but it's smooth sailing after the first few hours. Just remember, no rubbing those eyes and definitely no water activities. Think of it like keeping your newly washed car out of the rain. Question 3. Will I still need to wear glasses or contact lenses after LASIK? If LASIK has its way, those glasses are going into retirement. Most patients can say goodbye to their LASIK or contacts after LASIK. However, results can vary and some people might still need them for certain activities. But hey, they'll be more of a guest appearance than a main character in your life. Question 4. What about my bifocals? Will I still need them after LASIK? Great question! Bifocals as we know are used to correct both near and distance vision. LASIK mainly corrects distance vision, so depending on your age and the state of your eyes, you may still need your reading glasses for those fine prints. But always discuss this with your doctor, they'll know best. And finally, question 5. Can I play sports after LASIK surgery? Well, it depends on the sport and how long it's been since your procedure. For low contact sports like jogging or gym workouts, you can be back at it in a few days. But for high contact sports like football or martial arts, you'll need to wait a bit longer. Again, your eye doc is the coach here. They'll give you the green light when you're ready. And that's a wrap on our FAQ section and the video. Remember, when in doubt, always ask your doctor. They've got the play-by-play -play on what's best for your vision. Stay curious, stay informed, and stay tuned in for more LASIK Lowdown. Well folks, we've journeyed through the wild world of LASIK, and now, like a bird soaring through the skies, it's time to land. But before we say adios amigos, here's what I need from you. See this like button? It's just begging to be smashed. Hit it if you enjoyed our eye-popping extravaganza. It needs your love. And this other buddy over here? It's the subscribe button, and it wants to be part of your life. So click on it to join our family and be the first to know when we unleash more optical awesomeness. Come closer. You want to know a secret? We're also on Instagram and Facebook. Follow us there for behind the scenes sneak peeks, silly selfies, and eye related tomfoolery. We've got more lenses than a camera shop over there. Together, we'll conquer the world of eyeballs and vision. So stay connected, stay funny, and most importantly, stay tuned.